And if you could explain what a hallway single is. Okay. What is a hallway single? <laughs> Hi, my name is Hannah and I'm a junior in Lowell House studying history of science and government. And today I'll be showing you my dorm in Lowell. Lowell House is one of the upperclassmen housing on Harvard's campus. Over 98% of students choose to live in the upperclassmen housing that you get sorted into after freshman year. In the upperclassmen houses, only sophomores, juniors, and seniors live in them. Lowell House is a great house because it offers a wide variety of options. You can choose to live anywhere from a hallway single to a large suite of up to eight or nine people. So the difference is in a suite, there's a common room and typically just bedrooms attached to that common room. Whereas in for a hallway single, you could just open the door to your room straight from the hallway. My favorite thing about living in a hallway single is the complete privacy. Whether I want to stay up until 3 a.m. studying or I want to wake up at the crack of dawn, there, is no, there are no roommates to disturb. One of my least favorite things about living in a hallway single though is not being able to bother my roommates whenever I want, but that's probably for their benefit. All right, so the first thing we have over here is my desk which is designed for studying, but I actually don't use this to study ever. I find it really hard to get work done in my dorm, but I do use it to get ready in the morning. So I have all my jewelry hung up on the top. I have my makeup, my lotions, anything I need to just get ready for the day. But it has some knickknacks, like my favorite chocolates, almond joy, some birthday cards. My birthday was in January. And then I have some pictures around my desk, which help me stay motivated and happy throughout the semester. So I have some pictures of my mom, my sisters, and my friends from back home. And then on the side wall, I have some pictures of my favorite clubs on campus. And then moving forward, this is my bed. Um, when I was a freshman, I didn't get a mattress topper and I used to literally, like my back used to hurt all the time. And then sophomore year onwards, I got a mattress topper and now my bed is literally one of my best favorite places to be. Super relaxing, super chill. And then this is my side table. Speaking of my side table, all of the furniture in this room from the closet to the desk, to the bed, to the side table is all provided by Lowell and all of the houses. So you don't have to worry about it at all. But on the side table, I have <laughs> three canvases, canvas prints. Um, I'm not an artistic person at all, but Lowell House hosts study breaks where you can come in and they have a bunch of material that you can use. And I just wanted to paint some canvases one plain color. They look kind of cute, so I brought them upstairs. And then I have my cart. This is my cart that just has literally everything from hair um, styling products to my morning coffee to a bunch of like items for food, like all of the spices you could possibly name. Lowell House has a kitchen downstairs where sometimes I'll go and cook. I try to go once a month, but some semesters are rougher than others. The best thing I've made is chicken biryani and it's been pretty good if I do say so myself. All right, so that's my room. And now I'll be showing you one of my favorite spots in Lowell. Now we're in Lowell's junior common room, also known as the Lowell JCR. The Lowell JCR is a nice common space where students can come up anytime they want to study, to hang out with friends, to talk, or a lot of clubs use the space to host parties or socials. In my experience, I usually come here late night if I want to study with some friends, but I still want to study in a space where I can still talk with them or eat some food. Um, other times I've used this for clubs to host things like the biryani bash, where we order a bunch of biryani and a lot of students come in and eat around dinner time. Our next stop is another common space in Lowell House called Lowell Underground. Now we're in Lowell Underground Lounge. Lowell Underground is the basement of Lowell House and the lounge specifically is a social space that anyone in the house can use for any gatherings or just chilling out with friends. Every other Thursday, Lowell's house committee hosts a Stein, which is a social gathering for anyone in the house where they serve beverages, snacks, and usually have themed events. So one of the cool features of Lowell Underground Lounge is that it is actually connected to a kitchen space. So we can go right here. Anyone in the house is allowed to use the kitchen space um, whenever they want. They just have to book it through Lowell Room Book, which is only accessible to students in Lowell House. And then they just get the key from the building manager's office and then they have access to any of the equipment here on often many of the ingredients as well. Ever since getting into Lowell House, I've used the kitchen a couple of times to cook meals that remind me of home. From dal chavel to chicken biryani, I've had a lot of fun making food here with my friends. Next up, we'll be going to the Lowell Screening Room, which is also located in the Lowell Underground. Across from Lowell Underground Lounge is the Lowell Screening Room, where students can come in and put on movies, watch shows with friends, or socialize. 
So the Lowell screening room is actually really easy to use. There's a bunch of wires down there that can connect to different types of laptops and have different adapters so that anyone can come down and just use it. Now we'll be heading to another feature of Lowell Underground, which is Lowell's gym. Now we're in Lowell's very own house gym, also located in Lowell Underground. Each of the upperclassmen houses has a house gym and Lowell's happens to have two floors. So Lowell's house gym is really nice because it has a wide variety of equipment and it's open 24 hours. So for people who like to go to the gym early in the morning or late at night, it's super easy to just go from your dorm to the gym and back to your dorm when you're done. For people who are looking for more equipment or they want to go swimming, for example, the big gym on campus called the Mac is right next to Lowell. So super accessible for Lowell House residents. Now we'll be heading upstairs to go check out Lowell's dining hall. Right now we're in Lowell Dining Hall where all Lowell students can get breakfast, lunch, and dinner as long as they have their Harvard student ID. The student ID also allows them to grab meals at other upperclassmen houses. So often I go to Adam's Dining Hall, which is another upperclassman housing, to get my meals with my friends. They also serve halal food there. Our next stop is Lowell Library, which is located on the second floor of Lowell House. Behind this door is Lowell Library, a library that all Lowell students can use whenever they want, open 24 hours. So I've definitely pulled some all-nighters in here. We're not going to go in just now because a lot of students are studying hard, but it is one of the prettiest libraries on campus. All right, so now for our last stop, we're in Lowell Courtyard, which is one of the prettiest courtyards in all of the upperclassmen housing. When the weather is a little bit warmer, students come out here to play games and have picnics. But right now it's chilly, so everyone is inside. For students who get placed into Lowell House, we hope you're excited to join one of the best house communities on campus and move into Lowell House. Thanks for watching.